So Ben, this is the Bushnell Nitro. Um, you've had this for a couple of months now. Do you want to talk me through some features of this this optic? Yeah. So this is the three to eighteen by fifty six mil nitro scope. So this is just this morning uh, come off one of my rim fires. As you can see, the mounts are still on it. The uh, the mounts aren't included with the scope, but uh, you do get your lens covers with it. It's got cap turrets on it. It's a thirty millimeter tube and uh, it's sort of aimed at the, the hunting market. It comes with a sunshade as well, doesn't it? Yep, comes with a sunshade that you can screw on just onto the end of the scope. So this one's got a standard G4 rescue in it, um, which has got a clear dot in the middle. Do you think modern hunters have moved away from that with an illuminated setting and things like that? This sort of fits the bill for both. So it has that traditional hunting reticle that a lot of people are accustomed to. So it's effectively like a duplex reticle. It's got a thick bottom post on it to draw your eye into the target, but it has a precise dot in the middle. So it's not completely in the past. It's sort of familiar uh, with people that have been hunting all their lives, but also it, you know, it's come into the 21st century. So it has that illumination control where you can really crank up the brightness on the reticle if you want to use that. Are you a red dot man then now, uh, Ben? Uh, I use both, so some of my scopes have them, some of them don't. Um, last weekend actually I was out deer stalking and I, I ended up using the illumination on my reticle and it was really helpful actually, so I probably don't use it as much as I should. I'm a bit of a traditionalist in that sense, but when it's there, why not use it? The parallax is down to 10 yards, all the way out to infinity as well, so that really allows you to you know, use it for air rifles and rim fires as well as you know, your centre fires if you wanted to. How have you found it in different light settings? Yeah, yeah, really good. So, you know, the scope's aimed for your hunting applications. So with 56 millimeter objective lens on it, you can really gain those extra additional 15, 20 minutes or so of last light, which can be so useful for certain situations. There's always the, the classic situation where the deer comes out just as light's going and you always need that extra performance to be able to, to make the shot that you want, whether it's deer or it might be you know any other sort of pest control application. It's a 3 to 18 by 56, so by being, you know, you can wind all the way down to three times magnification is really good for those sort of close range hunting uh, applications. So, but equally, you know, it's got a six times ratio on the magnification, which is actually quite a large range. So you can have those really close range shots, but also dial in, you know, 18 times magnification and get really close in. If you want to use it for a bit of target shooting as well, it can cross over both of those you know, uses. So it's really, really good. In terms of the build quality, it's, it's super robust. You know, it's got the Bushnell Exo Barrier system. It's got all the ironclad warranties that Bushnell come with. If you're out in the pouring rain and uh, horrible conditions that you probably don't even want to be out in yourself, yeah. the scope's not going to let you down. Gives that peace of mind. Yeah, exactly.